Hey, if you are watching this lecture, you are probably running into the Google is not defined error when working with Google Maps API in your JavaScript or Vue.js project. Here are the four scenarios that may cause the Google is not defined error and how to fix them. Let's get started. The first scenario for why you are getting the error is because the Google Maps API script is not included in your HTML file. As you can see from the simple index.html file, I have instantiated the Google Maps object without including the Google Maps API script anywhere in the index.html file. When I run it, of course, I get the error. To include the Google Maps API script, go inside the head tags, create starting and ending script tags, inside the starting script tag, add source attribute src equals double quotes. In there, I'm going to add Google Maps API URL. So https colon slash slash maps dot Google APIs dot com slash maps slash api slash js question mark key equals i'm going to paste my google maps api key and go ahead and replace it with your key there let's run the app and error is gone map is working perfect hey i want to let you know that i have a complete one hour absolute free Vue.js and Google Maps API masterclass course that will teach you how to create a professional looking real world location detector web app like this. Normally you see on the food delivery apps from start to finish with step by step instructions from scratch. Feel free to check it out. Link is in the description below. The second scenario for why you are getting the error is you are trying to instantiate the Google Maps object before the Google Maps API script is fully loaded. As you can see, even though I have included the Google Maps API script, when I run the app, I get the error. This is one of the scenarios a lot of my students run into. What happens is that the browser will execute the JavaScript code starting at the top, going to the bottom, line by line. When it hits the line where the Google object gets instantiated here, the Google Maps API script tag has not started loading yet because I have included the script tag below the instantiation code. That means browser could not find a reference to instantiate Google object. So it throws the Google is not defined error. To fix that, we need to load the Google Maps API script first before instantiating the Google Maps object. So just move the Google Maps API script tag right above the other script tags and the error is gone. Pretty simple and straightforward. The third scenario for why you are running into the error is that you are trying to call the callback function inside the Google Maps API script as a URL parameter before declaring it first. As you can see in the Google Maps API URL, I have added the callback URL parameter with the value of the function initialize map. Right below the Google Maps API script, I have instantiated the Google Maps object inside the initialize map function. When I run the app, I get the error because the initialize map is not called when this line of code gets executed because the actual declaration of the initialize map function is below here. As you know, in JavaScript, you will need to declare a function first before calling it. To fix that, simply just move the Google Maps API script tag right below the other script tags where I called the initialize map function and the error is gone. 
The fourth scenario for why you are getting the error is when you are working with external libraries or frameworks as they have their own scope or module system such as Google Maps API Loader, View 3, Google Map and so on. When you are working with libraries, sometimes Google Maps object is not accessible within the current scope. To fix that, we need to add window in front of it, like so. That way, you explicitly reference the Google object from the global scope. As you know, window is the global object in browsers. Most of the cases, you won't need to use window when working with Google Maps API. However, if you encounter an error indicating that Google is not defined, adding window can help resolve the issue by explicitly accessing the global Google object. I hope any of these solutions will fix your Google is not defined error. Let me know which scenario you run into and how you fixed it. If you tried everything and still have an error, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this. As I mentioned before, I have a complete one hour absolutely free Vue.js and Google Maps API masterclass course that will teach you how to create a professional looking real world location detector web app like you see on the food delivery apps from start to finish with step-by-step -step instructions from scratch. The link is in the description below and if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below and I will reach out to every single one of you as soon as I can. Happy coding and I will see you in the next lecture.